Well, that's... Yeah, that's a way to wake up in the morning. Uh, welcome back to Hat in Time, guys. I'm Nintendo Capri Sun, and I've got a hat. Uh, oh, wow. Wait a minute. Can you change the hats with the D-pad? I didn't know that. I was sitting here doing it this way. Oh my god, that's so much easier. Okay. Well, cutscene commence. Are you ready to take down some Mafia? Let's do it! I'm psyched! Damn, dude. Let's go over the plan. All assaults need a good plan, or it'll be a flop. First, we strangle them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. That'll show them. Okay. Wait, wait. strangling is too kind. We <laughs> oh, stuff no. them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. Then, we sell the jar for pocket money. That'll be the ultimate salt in the wound. <clears throat> nope. But first, we have to uh, make it through the Mafia HQ. Bad, dumb, probably smells. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, the rest will follow. Then our mush and jar party will be no problem. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this game. Uh, who are you calling basic? Yarn can be found around Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. Well, damn. Let's have characters doing yarn things for us here. Hats than others. I guess being creative isn't free. <laughs> so keep an eye out for yarn. Now you're a killing machine. Let's go get them. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm not. Oh my god. You know, I'm not even going to finish that sentence. I'm not even sure what I would have said if I had finished it. Well, anyway. What do you say we turn this on and... Actually, I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. What am I doing, I mean? It's not the same without the music, man. <laughs> Good lord. Speaking of jumping into chocolate, oh wait, that was Breath of the Wild where I did that. Never mind. What, are they scared of the rain? Oh, good lord, man. That's, <laughs> I got a little raincoat, that's so cool. Ah, uh, oh man, crazy, man. What? I just flipped, slipped and fell in the mud, and now things are just jumping on my head from every which direction here. Uh, get out of here. What you got to say? That darn seagull over there took my camera. I would have gone and done a belly dive over there. No, but this belly's too precious for sliding on. <laughs> I love how they sort of slyly avoid saying the names of the buttons, you know? So as not to disturb your... What is it called? You know, suspension of disbelief, yeah. There's like something in here. Oh, hello. It's a good thing you're sleeping. Otherwise, you'd be running, too. Is everything still set up out here? I guess they just never put this stuff away. I don't know. I don't think I'd want that much TNT just sitting around my town. Regardless of who owned it or what they planned to do with it. Yeah! So if you jump in the water, you can actually get rid of the mud, so... Yeah, alright. Of course, we did seem to have sort of a distinct advantage by, having, by being covered in it, because obviously... They were all scared of us and thought we were an alien or something. Another one. Should be glad when I can use those. Hey, now I can be Dr. Jesus! Not really. Doesn't move very well. Oh well. Beep beep. A sound. You, you'll get to learn to listen for that sound and be like, oh god. I mean, something's nearby. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I thought those were stairs. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Does make it easier for me to get up? I'll just stick out my tongue as I jump through the air and get a yarn while I'm at it. I think the yarn was the bigger reason why they, why that passage opened up, but I'm more concerned about being able to get up this thing. Or I'm more thankful for, you know, being able to get around here a little better. What am I doing? Now we're over here where the first yarn was, or the first timepiece. I always want to call those hourglasses, but <laughs> get out of here. Aren't you scared of me? Whoa, he's not scared. He must have seen this stuff before. I'm chocolate, man! Yep. Oh, no, 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 no! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! He's gonna hit you! Oh my god. 
Dang it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There's too many times later in this game, though, I've noticed where, like, I go to jump on a balloon, but I don't know whether I should single dump or jump. Single dump or double dump. What the? Whoa, uh oh. It's it's slimy space alien. Mafia is a spaceship. Mafia knew all along. Mafia is being invaded by aliens. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the fact that they took the time to put in cutscenes like that just for one little thing that happens a single time in the game that's just awesome. Anyway looks like we're gonna need to follow this dude he's gonna drop gems every single time what? Did you just climb up the boxes? We could do that anyway you better run Run, run, or you'll be well done! Oh my god, dude. Oh. So you don't want to wall jump here. It's kind of their way of teaching you that you can do that. The cool thing about this is, like, if you jump off the side... You know, I'll actually show it. If you jump off the side, it just puts you right back up where you were. It's really cool. I didn't know it was going to put me way back here, though. Otherwise, maybe I wouldn't have done that, but oh well. <laughs> Too late now. See, but that's the thing, though. It's the part. I think it's part of the the whole time gimmick, is because you have the time pieces, you can just rewind time. And that's, like, why that happens. Otherwise, maybe it's just a game design choice to help players save time. I don't know. Either way, I appreciate it. Alone, you monster. Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? It's like an alien's gonna have any use for that. But yeah, sure, I'll change my mind. Easy schmeasy. Never noticed the windmills in the background there. Man, okay, now that I've had my yawning fit, we can go ahead and get back in here. Let's see what unlocks next. Woo! Uh oh, down with the Mafia. Okay, so welcome to Mafia Town Chapter, Population 379, Mission Recover, Fallen Time Peace. Fallen Time Peace, Perspiration, hopefully not. This one says Perspiration, the sky seems to be perspirating. Um, this one's kind of the same thing. Population, one less soon. Oh man. Go away. I ain't going nowhere, man. That's how it like starts you in a different spot each time, kinda based on what you need to do. Now you might as well just go ahead and get in here. Get on in there! Woo! And that's how you get up here. You took your time. Help me out here! Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside. Oh sure, no problem. Uh Justine Courtney. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow, look at these one-hit plebs. Alright, that's cool. So, might as well see what's back here. You know what? Hey, it pays to explore. Yeah, I got a Rift token. Use it on the orb machine. I don't even know where that is, actually. I saw John using his, but... Uh, I didn't really pay attention to where he was going. You don't really pay attention to that stuff when you're watching somebody play. I mean, I don't know, maybe you do. I don't. Like when I go to Chagos to visit, you know, when he dri drives us to all these restaurants? I've been in the car riding with him, like, to those restaurants at least 10 or 12 times. I still wouldn't know how to get there if you put me in a car and said, okay, drive us there. And it's like, wh when did that happen? Because you know, when I was a kid, I memorized everything. Maybe it's because you did it so much more as a kid, I don't know. It's like, you think I'd know my way around there better. But that's just the thing, though, you don't. You just, you don't pay attention to that stuff. After a while, you s I don't know. It's just not fascinating to you anymore, the idea of, like, traffic lights. I mean, when I was a kid, I loved traffic lights. I don't know what that has to do with knowing your way around the city. It's just you pay less attention to your surroundings. You just start looking at the trees and thinking, well, thank God I'm still alive, you know. 
You got me all figured out? I don't think so. Who's throwing cans at me over here, dude? Get out of here with that shit. Oh my god, man. Yeah, so... You too. Uh oh. Yeah, you missed. Yeah, that's all I've got. I could give you some more if I wanted to. Yeah, so this took me a little while to figure out my first time. I didn't. Well, first of all, let's go in here because this is my playthrough and I reserve the right. Well, shit, I'm a girl. I can't use those things. What you doing over here? Shaving? Hello? Hello? Oh, God! Uh. uh yeah, that's what I think too, actually. Uh, we should check this treasure. Hey, oh, got a rift token. And you know where we got it? We got it in the bathroom! There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so like, you step on the switch and open the way to the key, but then the moment you step off of the switch, it goes back down. You try to run into it, it still doesn't work. So, like, what the heck do you do? If you played any Zelda at all, you figure you're probably going to put something on the Switch, but what can you put on the Switch? There doesn't seem to be anything around here I could talk to you, and I'm pretty sure I don't have enough money anyway. So I'm just going to go up here, and I don't want to start talking real fast, but I talk fast for the rest of this video. I can totally do that if I wanted to, but maybe I don't want to do that, I don't know, because maybe it's really annoying to people, and I don't want to hear me talking. You know, it's be talking like a thousand words a second or something, and for some reason I can't jump up here, I don't know why that is. I guess I just really forgot how to play this game or something. Well, the problem is I keep wall jumping by accident, or not really by accident, it's not by accident, I keep pushing it on purpose. Because I, you know, I instinctively push the jump button because the jump makes you go higher. So you think, okay, I press the jump button to go higher. But then you jump away from the wall in the process of doing that because you wall jump. So, you know. Did that make any sense? I don't care. I love this, though. Get up on the roof. Now, when I first found this area up here, I thought this was just like a little bonus area, like, to reward people for really looking around. Like, oh, hey, there's this up here, you know. This reminds me of the church in Banjo-Kazooie or something. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Anyway, can you come talk to her? The Mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cat is here. Cooking Cat is here. I prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the Mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the Mafia prepared food. Mm. Yeah, so for some reason I just didn't pick it up. Pick up on that you could lift these up. I should carry them around. And guess what? Well, take this over to the room. And drop. There you go. Man, I dropped that right on the middle of the switch, too. Good job. Oh, and I love the keys in this game. You know why? Because you can swing around like a sword. It's like, well, I don't have my umbrella anymore, so I guess I gotta beat people up with a key instead. Oh, well. I mean, that's the key to my strategy. Oh, uh, he's not gonna let me in there. Well, I wonder if I can play these slot machines. Oh no, this is not Danganronpa 3, or V3, rather. I don't know if that's supposed to mean version 3 or what, but, oh well. Anyway. Oh, well, yeah, sure, just go in the room. Let's not talk to anybody here. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Yeah, you do that. Hello. Goodbye. You shouldn't be cooking in here. Oh my god, this place is a mess, man. Alright, I'll Sonic you! How often do you get be Oh, well, I don't have the key anymore. I was about to say, how often do you get to beat people up with a key? This appears to be the Mafia's excuse for food. It certainly doesn't smell like it, though. You could probably taste some, but you're not sure that's something you want in your obituary. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of reminds me of, uh, Trey the Inn from, uh, Trials and Tribulations. Can I say, uh, anymore in the middle of a sentence? Oh, let's see, yeah. Hmm. I know, I know what you're thinking if you've played this before. You resist the urge to think of any fish puns. It's tough, but you manage to hold them back. <laughs> da -da -da -da, you got more brewing yarn. I don't actually have much, no how much yarn I actually have right now. Uh oh, yeah, I lost my depth perception there. I will say the depth perception does get to be a thing, but that's just 3D platformers for you right there. It's like those of us who've lived on, grew up on 2D platformers still probably think it's a thing, but for some people that's the way it's been all their life, so they're used to it. 
they just accept it as part of the gaming experience. You know, sometimes you just fall because you can't see what you're doing. And, uh, oh well. Well, good lord, man. I never knew there was so much yarn in this game. See, my first time through, I kind of skipped over most of this. I'm trying to get to that second playthrough or something. I don't know why I always do that. The first time I play a game, I try to get through it as fast as I can. Because I want to start, I want to get to the point where I start learning stuff, you know? And you don't learn. You do learn, but, uh... But I think most of your learning really happens in the second playthrough. But for now, this is still my second playthrough. <laughs> I would have liked to do another practice run before recording this, but yeah, oh well. It's like I said before, this game's pretty easy, so... I wouldn't be too fussed about it. This boss fight, though... I don't know. It is you! Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now, including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style. Lights! Action! It is showtime! Alright, check out this music. Oh, he's giving me. Oh, I thought he was gonna go into the next phase. Oh man, there's like four of me on the screen right now. Let's be going. How did I not get hit there? Jeez. I've got your frame capture. Oh, frame capture. Get out of here. Here he goes. Wow, well, he, did he never get to do the Mega Charge, or is he still gonna do that? <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. yeah, gotta love it. Oh well, helps to get in range. <laughs> Man, that was a long shot. <laughs> no pun intended. Here he goes again. So it's the Ultra Charge, it's the weaker one, and the Mega Charge, it's the Super one. Yeah, see you later, rats. Well, I always thought those were rats the first time, but no. They're like actual Mafia guys. Did we just do a no damage run of that? I was worried about that, and somehow it didn't happen. Okay, listen to this music here. It's just so cool. There's a whole song there, you know, and they risk somebody going through this game and never hearing that because they probably just jump straight for the timepiece, you know? That's what's so amazing about it. Like, they took their chances. Yep. They're gone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a second. Uh, wait, what? What? So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? Nerds! Ah! Are they some 
sort of rare co Wait... Huh? Whoa! What? I know a what counter of nine 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 at this point. <laughs> but, did um did you know about this? Oh, she's so precious. This is crazy! Do you even realize what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the mafia that one time. <laughs> yeah, those those couple of times. We could I'll pass. I'll pass, Fox. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. You have all this power, and you're not gonna use it to fight evil? <laughs> if you're not gonna use them to fight evil, then I will. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. Well, you better get started then. <laughs> yeah, really. My thoughts exactly. Uh oh. Okay, I mean, maybe I should have warned you about this. Yeah. <laughs> well. I think that would make a person enemies at that point, yep. Yeah, so you can go around collecting pawns all you want, but you're gonna lose half of them at that point in the game, so maybe better not to do that. Obviously John got the short end of the stick that time. Well, it serves him right for being so awesome. I'm just kidding. Can we do more here? Because first time I did this, I just went straight to World 2, but apparently, oh no. That one's done. Uh oh Time Rift Detective, these are so cool. Okay, so what'll happen here is occasionally this will pop up, and they'll say, there's a Time Rift here, and you gotta go find it. And, uh, if you could find it, you can go to this... Well, let's just show you. Kinda doesn't matter what... Um... What mission you go to, I guess, that you call it. But preferably, like, usually the first one, or just one where the world is normal. And then just kind of go from there, find it. So what it did there was it showed the time rift in a certain part of the stage. And it's up to you to figure out where that is in the stage and go get it. And when you do... Well, you're gonna... Okay, we're back in time here a little bit here. <laughs> well, time travel's the name of the game here, though. Might as well pick these up on the way. Hey, you ain't stealing these from me. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Man, it's tempting to just run around here. You know, I should probably do this in the next video. We'll go ahead and do this now, though. Hang on, I found something. Just a relic. I, wow, right over there by 1137, huh? I was about to say that's a elite relic, and I had my numbers mixed up there. And there's another treasure chest. It's amazing what you find when you just look around, isn't it? Jeez. I was just sitting here wandering kind of aimlessly here. I don't know why. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on. There's like somebody's house here. Wait, let me see. Lost and found. Oh, I wish I had that camera badge right about now. Going to first person here. Dress blue is best you. Alright, whatever you say. Oh, there's another house. Oh, man. <laughs> I think that's the same room, actually. Man, it's like looking into a convention center or something. Why am I still talking right now? Alright, where is this thing? I gotta find this thing, man! Anyway, we're getting pretty close. Oh, there's some yarn down in the boat down there. Uh, yeah, so if you can find this black tent, just get on top of it, and then head up the right side of the river here. If you listen... You can hear kind of a weird sound effect. That means you're getting close to it. And it's right in there. Oh, it's 
Try that one more time. I might not be high enough for this. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oopsie. There we go. <laughs> not the most graceful way to get in there, but it works out. So when you find the time rift, then it takes you into a little bonus stage, which it's impossible not to mention a certain other game here that shall remain nameless. But once again, I'll just let the music do the talking for me here. Oh man, I held back there and maybe I didn't need to, but oh, it's just way too safe sometimes. Anyway, there you go. Now that one's pretty easy, but they won't always be that way. Some of the ones later on could be a little tricky, a little finicky. But there you go. And every time you do one of these now, you're going to get to roll for something. Hat Flare, uh, let's try a reroll. Hat Flare, it really wants to give me that, doesn't it? One more time. There we go! Oh, wow. Hey, that's cool. Plus the, plus the rift trigger to throw... Yeah! Yeah, I'll equip that. Holy jeez, man. So you can get all kinds of things in there to change the colors of your outfit, the colors of your hat. And, uh... Hey, she made it! Alright. I must have never talked to her in my... Oh my god, look at this hat. This is the most flashy thing I've ever seen. So next time on Hat in Time, we may or may not do more of Mafia Town, or we might just go check out World 2. In the meantime, I'm Pixels. See ya!